Hi and welcome back to my 25th anniversary playthrough of Half-Life. This will be chapter 11, Questionable Ethics. These levels were originally referred to by the team as the Alien Research Labs and went through a few iterations before we arrived at what we shipped in the final game. So a little backstory on this. Uh, it was early November 97 and we all knew we were going to miss our original target ship date of the 26th. So the mood was fairly tense and uncertain about you know what the next six months were going to be like. Um, Gabe and Mike called a company-wide meeting on November 6th and it had a really dark tone to it. The game wasn't in a cohesive state at all and missing the date was obviously a big deal. Uh, my diary entry of the day was pretty shaken up. Um, the words I remember most from that meeting were when Gabe said, I quote, but I don't know if this is exactly what he said, but this is what I wrote in my diary. I don't like the team at all at the moment and there are going to be cuts. I had just started working on surface tension at the time. And you can imagine that instead of just worrying about how to finish the game, we were then wondering if we'd even have a job in the coming months. So that meeting was pretty hard hitting. Anyway, at the time, the Alien Research Labs had already gone through a couple of iterations because this was the area of the game that I worked on after Power Up, which was only a couple of maps. So I had finished up with those a little, little sooner in the year. Uh, anyway, here's what this section of the game looked like originally. As you can see, uh, very different from what we shipped, but this look was well received internally. It just was very expensive to render because the walls and architecture had a lot of detailed geometry for that time. Remember, we only had about 400 faces that we could use for world rendering, which was basically nothing. And so when you started putting a lot of detail on the walls and stuff, which weren't really environmental storytelling, it was kind of low priority detailing and there was just too much of it in these spaces. It was ultimately abandoned in favor of a cleaner, more realistic, less sci-fi look. A couple more pictures I want to show you are these two here. One of them is with the incredibly multicolor lighting shot which I think I went a little bit crazy because uh, Quake 2 was out and it was using all this very colorful lighting and I just thought you know what let's just put all the primary colors in here. It looks pretty awful. Um, but in the second shot you can see this is an area we were testing the chain gunner in. A fun fact about this guy is that early on in his development we played a sound clip of Mr. T when his gun was revving up to warn you to get out of the way. Because this guy was pretty dangerous when he started shooting. So we needed to telegraph to the player, hey he's, he's uh, winding up his gun. So um, this is what he would say when he revved up his gun. You dead! You hear me? Dead! Pretty silly but we found it funny at the time. Anyway, I have another dark diary entry, December the 1st, 1997, which was less than a month after that fateful company-wide meeting. We had basically decided, look, we've missed our shipping date. We need to take another look at this game because it's not really coming together like we wanted. So we conducted this brutal game-wide level review by the entire team. And my note from that day was simply, quote, each of us was put on the stand and systematically shot to pieces. <laughs> I remember just feeling like, oh my god, I feel so low. My work is up there in front of everybody and it's just being shredded. At least the level designers were all together in our absolute misery and defeat. Uh, so that was a really hard time to be a level designer at Valve, especially for me anyway. So following that review, much of the game was redesigned, uh, which resulted in a much more detailed plan for each map. And that redesign was done by groups of people who would represent different skill, skill sets in the company. So those redesigned sessions would come out with a more detailed plan for each map, including, in most cases, sketches like this one. And this is a sketch of the laser puzzle where you get introduced to the Tau Cannon. So that game-wide redesign made arriving at first playable versions of maps much easier because we had sketches like this, we had a much more deliberate and directed design, and we had a lot more confidence in the game being consistent across one chapter to another. So it was ultimately a tough process to go through but absolutely essential for arriving at the final result that we did. Okay, let's get going with questionable ethics. Oh god. Whoa. Go away. Stop. Oh, 
Oh, I backed into the electric fence. <laughs> Oops. All right, this time, fellas. I need more firepower. Hey. Thank you. Wow, oh, they're just too cute. I don't like shooting those. Um, okay, this looks like electric fence. Yes, shoot this guy. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Not the most obvious solution to a puzzle in the world. I'm feeling very low on ammunition. So that's supposed to be liquid in there. Oh sh! This is the intro to these guys. But yeah, this was the intro to the alien grunt, and he was supposed to be locked in this um, sort of liquid container. And then he scares the crap out of you by banging on the glass and breaking through it. Uh, and then he almost killed me. Um, can I get a weapon from him? Not yet. Uh, wait a second. Hmm. Now I'm asking myself. Was he supposed to break out when you hit this? Or was he supposed to break out when he did just then? Now I don't remember. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, these corridors, I uh, really like the, the blue... Oh. Except they're unaligned. I swear there is some texture. Uh, there is some regression uh, in this version of the game. These textures should be lined up. Alien Research Labs. <laughs> I need this after that encounter with the alien grunt. And now we're going to teach the player that these buttons create some bad sh in the main room. There we go. We close you in because we don't want you running out. And you see some fancy stuff happening. So you go, oh, okay. This is like the panic button. Um, let's use that on the grunts who happen to just walk in right away. Did I get him? Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, he grenaded himself. He's panicking. And he's going to die. <laughs> All right, now give me your gun. <clears throat> through the door. That's very nice. Alright, so that introduces you to a handy way of killing anything in these rooms. Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Righty then. Yeah, these corridors, I mean, they're still interesting, um, but they're very different from the original concepts. Come on. Okay, I'll cover you. Pretty sure we're going to have some resistance up here. Ignition. 
No, that's not good. Ah! Watch out, Barney. Don't get killed. All right, we did it. Really need ammo. Oh, I have grenades. Good. Wait. Am I missing something down here? Yes. Alright, we need to find somebody with scanner access. Let's go get him. Come on. Oh boy, you stay here. Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes. We got more a alien research cages. Oh, look at this. We got the crossbow back. And our first snark nest. Can we get some guys to come in here? Come on. Open this up. Oh, come on. Come on in. Come in. That's right. Move it. Oh. Come on. Oh, this is... Maybe I shouldn't have let these guys out. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, you know, I should have... This is not very well designed. I should have put this little booth on the other side. Uh, then you could see them coming through the opposite side and then trap them easier. This is not so easy. Alright, so I'm going to... Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill them. Well, instead of doing that, let's do it this way. Come on out. Ah. All right, you guys are going to get it. <laughs> Did I just crush one with the door? That's amazing. Oh, I hope, uh, I hope they get it when they're in these cells, too. Excellent. Okay. Well, I didn't get the soldiers, but I uh, got the head crabs. Uh, yeah, that's a bug. That's not good. What has happened? Oh! Holy sh! Wow, I am so bad at fighting these. Oh, you thing, Gaia! Alright, one more time. This time, let's not get killed by these guys, shall we? Really? Alright. Here we go! I love these guys. Actually, I should have killed the uh, grunts with these guys. Would have been smarter. Easier. Um, but they do turn on you if uh, they don't have any enemies to attack. Alright, let's keep going down a little deeper here. See what we can find. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Itchy trigger finger. So this must be where these guys rise up from the ground, and there's a big fight that happens here. And you get to place these. I love these tactical weapons. Power 10%. Power to 
20%. It wasn't a very subtle um, hint that these would be useful in this fight, but you know, sometimes you don't need subtlety. Uh, right, so I'm going to set these up down here, and then I'm going to hit this, where is the button? Come on. Oh, I got somebody. Who did they get? Alright, whoever wins. Leave me alone. What? There goes one more guy. Okay, come on. Oh, maybe that was a grenade. Stop shooting and come get me. Come on. I can hear your footsteps, but you're not. Ah, all right. Let's go get you. There you are. Come on now. These guys are too smart to fall for my trip binds. Holy f I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, well, what did I learn? I learned uh, these guys are too smart for trip mines. At least they're too smart to walk up and get me, so what I'll do is... Um, maybe they'll come... Where are they going to come? This way? And this way. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh, maybe, maybe. Come on, run through that. Yes! <laughs> Who's going to get this one? No. Oh, come on. Oh, you... I don't believe it. Go on, do it. Yes! <laughs> I hate that I had to be dead to see that. <laughs> Alright. You know what? I don't care if I die at this a lot. It's fun to do. So, let's see. This one... This worked really well, and then... I think this is a good spot, because that's going to cut him off that way. Um, down here... Grunt's going to show up. Yeah, maybe I'll do this one. And then this one. Alright, let's see what, how that goes. And you know what I also need to do? Get these guys ready for the grunts. Oh, no! Oh, I guess these both... Ah, sh I lost two of my mimes. Let's just throw some of these in for a good me measure. <laughs> what? Is that it? That's so funny. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, right. 
try this, uh, but not putting it on these two this time. Two, three. Okay, so this is a good one. This is a good one. Here. And then... Why not put one here too? Okay. Let's see what happens. You know what? I'm going to save it here. Do I still have... Yes, I still have three trip lines. Come on. Hey, stop shooting me. No, oh, you... F oh, my God. Wow. Holy sh... Oh, and the explosion went through the wall. Okay, well... Okay, got him this time. <laughs> okay, somebody please run through here. Come on. No, he didn't do it. Didn't actually mean to switch to that gun. Very lucky that that worked. Oh, oh my god, look at that. What a waste. Oh well. <laughs> uh, give me health, give me health. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, bull squid, probably. Seek medical attention. Run away. No. <laughs> wow, I'm really sucking with my aim here. Thought he might have been fighting a bull squid up here. Oh, the cases have already broken out. This area was uh, not the the cases weren't supposed to blow out until you got in here. This was like uh, this was inspired by the aliens. Um, scene where the aliens were in the little glass vials and then when they sort of jump scared you at the uh, at the glass of the container uh, but in this case they all bust out of these things when you were in the middle so I don't know why it was already broken before I got there we named this the psycho surgery when we were developing this game this was Kelly Bailey and I trying to figure out different uh, interesting features and experiences in this alien research lab and this was one of them uh, a deadly game of jump and crouch to get across the room and all of the uh, terrified scientists huddled in the other room saying you know we're not moving until you deactivate this thing psychosurgery uh, right let's continue ah look this is what it's supposed to be like These were little agitators that are supposed to zap the head crabs every so often, you know, just because questionable ethics side of this was, uh, is it okay to imprison alien creatures and subject them to torture, or isn't it? Even if they're deadly head crabs. Right, let's continue. 
Oh, that's where we came from. Let's get back to that psychosurgery room. Much needed first aid. Although the scientists... Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Look at that. 25 health. Wow. Who would do that? That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Okay. Um... Kill him. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you go. Go get him. He shrugged off that. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll get another one. Come on. Oh, I think he's... That guy needs medical attention. Oh, he came back from killing the bull squid. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, can I get him? I can get you, I think. Yeah, that's a person. Nice. I love this weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> that is just so silly. I love it. It's so ridiculous. But, you know, it's an intro to this gun, and we had to illustrate to the player what it, how it would work, including the overcharge thing. Oh, God. And so, yeah... Well, none of this was acted, of course. This was just two voices and then a jib shooter that uh, coated the ground in blood. But it got the point across. Okay, we're so close to the surface now. And this is the laser puzzle, where you have to track all of these lasers. Although... You know what? Uh, it's it's possible to see, to see the laser, the, the solution to the puzzle before you actually see the puzzle, which is not great. Wow, the grunts really cleaned up, didn't they? Of course, we use the awesome cliche of lasers making sound when they when they turn on. reflect and they go up to the ceiling and they all collect in here and then do not obstruct laser shield whatever you do make sure that this very easily moved obstruction doesn't move into the way of the laser shield otherwise it may well bust through that wall and I had to put windows here to make sure you know this is the way forward but honestly you can solve this puzzle without even trying so anyway Let's go turn these things on. Oh, there's the laser sound. <clears throat> it's very James Bondy. Now you can see that one laser is on its way in here, but it's not enough. Gotta have the other ones. Of 
course, don't stand in the way of the laser. They don't seem... Well, I guess they have the hazard stripes on the ground. Last one. Cool. Now we have something happening. We hit this button. By the way, that do not obstruct laser shield, that didn't exist for a while. Um, but we didn't have to see too many external playtesters come in here and flail around enough before we thought, okay, we've got to put some clue, and there is the clue. Maybe a little heavy-handed in retrospect, but... Take falling damage. Oh, took it anyway. Give me a health kit. No, no health. Ah. Thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. <laughs> uh, what a diabolical surgical robot. I mean... Allow me to treat that Thank you. Okay, do I get love from all I of you guys? A fellow scientist. No? Let's go. Here. Okay. I don't suppose you reconsider. <laughs> I love those responses. Okay. So now I have to get through this comical. I don't actually have. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I forgot that I asked you to follow. Whoops. That's uh, all right. Down to two already. That's not a good start. Okay, I promise I'm going to do better protecting you than I did the other guy. Um, which way are we going? Not that way. This way. Come on. Uh, and now... Oi! You! Lead the way. I was leading the way. Come on. These guys are so much better at avoiding grenades than I am. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Okay, why not? Didn't want to die alone. Uh, so maybe... Come on. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Come on. Here you go. Well, I'll let you out, but I'm not. It's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other. And I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. Thank you very much. Where is he going? 
He's just hiding. Good. That's smart. Bye, Barney. Okay, fine. Ouch. I don't like using grenades for this, but... My scale of this uh, lamppost. But hey, remember, only 350 to 550 world faces for the entire scene. Uh, definitely not easy to uh, build a street lamp out of that few faces. Alright, give me some stuff. Okay, we made it to the end of Questionable Ethics. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and you'll join me for the next one, Surface Tension. See you then. Bye.